Yo, what's going on, guys? Got my guys in here today. Uh, today we're gonna work on change of direction and lower body. Last week I gave you upper body so you guys can kind of see what we're doing with there. And uh, you'll see how this last week is kind of a lot more, you know, I put, place a lot more emphasis on the actual, you know, the sprinting, the movements on the actual field. We'll hit the weights for a little bit with the lower body. We do two lower body days. So the other one's a little bit more strength intensive. Today's a little bit more volume, a little bit less movements. Um, but we'll focus on the speed and lateral change direction. Check it out. Pay attention. After I give that one hard push, then I'm going, okay? And the biggest thing is out of lateral push, out of that lateral push, I need you to get into acceleration. You're not up here, you're not top speed. You have to get into acceleration. What's that mean? I gotta get my shoulders out front. After that hard push, I wanna beat it out. Bang, 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 bang. All the way out. Go, go. Big push, big push, good. Push, go. Good, man. Way to correct yourself. I need one hard push and ride. One hard push and ride. Good. You guys start starting to perform at a high level. Speed, quickness. Speed kills in every sport. Power kills in every sport. Brute strength, baseball, I mean, it'll help. But take that strength and be able to move with it. That's how you become a good athlete. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna line up on the cone. Front leg is on the cone. From here, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of resistance. Hey, I want hard, hard lateral shuffle. Fight him a little bit. When you're pulling it, fight him a little bit, okay? Think of it as the same technique you would as if you're running up a hill. You know when you run up a hill, you're pressing into it, right? You're getting your shoulders over your, you got that lean. Top speed is like riding a bicycle. You're upright and you're pedaling. Does that make sense? If you associate those two or use those metaphors, you'll, you'll recognize when you're resisted, it's like you're going uphill. You have to get it out in front and push off of that. Ready and go. Go, 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 go. Ah, boy. You're coming to the cone. You're starting behind the cone again. Lateral shuffle. Bang, we're getting here. We're lateral shuffling, so now it's assisted. This is resisted, meaning my resistance is coming from here. Same guy holds the same thing. Get to the cone. I'm assisted now coming back. So I don't get stuck in the mud. Bang, and I'm all the way back here. As Soon as I hit this cone, I'm planting, and I'm running all the way through five yards. And go. Get out to it. Get out to it. Right, 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 right. Let's go. Get out. Get to it. Go. Get out. Put the hips. Go. And go. Push. Ah, Shabazz, you're late. You're one of the fastest and you're late on that. Turn and go. Turn and go. High focus. We're facing the wall now. Let's go. Your walk back is your rest. You got such beautiful technique when you come out your acceleration, but just use it. Because you come out and you're this high. You feel me? If I can get you to drop your hips and come out and throw the shoulders over the over top, bang, you're gonna be blazing, you know what I'm saying? Ready, and go, push. That boy, and go, push, 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 get back. Flip it, go, flip it, go, that boy. Hey, you guys know what time it is. We got eight, uh, six total reps. Charge it hard, remember, this is training. The game's not on the line. Charge it hard, don't take your eye off the ball, react to it. You know what I'm saying? React to the ball. Ready? Woo! Ha <laughs> hard, come hard, baby, let's go. Good. Ooh, that's what I want, though. Ah, <laughs> this shit is way harder than it looks. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The game under you. 
five. One left. Woo! That boy. Ah, that boy. Good. Pay attention. The ones that we're doing here, it's not your normal squat. I want your feet a little bit more narrow. I want your toes a little bit more straight. And I want you screwing your feet into the ground. Remember, when you screw your feet into the ground, coming down and out, the knees are going to, are going to spread themselves naturally. That's what we're focusing on, okay? We're gonna go four sets of eight repetitions. Four sets of eight repetitions. Three by five, last week we did six. Look, pay attention here, under controls. Knees are slightly bent, but they're locked there. They don't move anymore, it's not a deadlift, and I'm not a stiff leg deadlift, okay? I'm coming here, it's a Romanian deadlift, which means I lock them in here. Hey, here's the deal. Focus is on my hips going back, watch. I don't lower myself by bending over. I'm hinging, which means I'm pushing my hips back. As I push my hips back, I come down. Chin stays tucked, back stays flat. Come up, bang, I'm using my glutes and my upper hamstring to pull myself up. If you come here and you bend over, that's your lower back. I don't want that. Yeah, my hips are still slightly going back, but I'm leading with my lower back. As I come over my base of support, my lower back takes the brunt. If I push my hips back, my ass and my upper hamstring takes the support. Does that make sense to y'all? So focus here, I stand tall at the top, bang, bend my knees, I hinge forward, drive my hips forward, bar stays close to my shins, and I come up. Go to your edge and come back up, okay? Five repetitions, let's go. This is my jam right now. Good feet just a little bit further in, so look, you're gonna come a little bit closer inside your, inside your shoulders, right below your hip, okay? Good, hey, we're gonna be coachable, tuck that chin. Feet in, take one, one half a step in. Good, one more half a step in. Knees don't bend anymore. Hips go back, hips go back, hips go back, right there. That boy, way to work, man. Four movements, I'm, I'm joining, pay attention. I'm joining your core circuit into this circuit all together, okay? So it's just one big circuit and that's how you're gonna finish out the workout. Does that make sense to you guys? So number one, Swiss ball leg curl. Go ahead and jump down. I'm gonna explain it again like I do every week. Heel stays on, hip comes up, good, curl it under, bang, all the way, good. That's one, hip comes all the way back down. Number two, you're right there on your back, sprinter sit-ups. So arms at your side, legs at your side, legs together, everything's tight, tongue on the roof of the mouth, explode up into a sit-up, opposite hand to opposite knee, does that make sense to you guys? 20 of them, 20 of them. Next one, plank bird dogs, go ahead and hop up in push-up position. Good, from here you got opposite hand to opposite foot. Good, all you have is a one Mississippi pause and you just have 10 of them. Number four, instead of walking lunge, we're coming out here, watch, come here. Good, gentlemen, from here, here's what you got. First down is just back pedal, okay? So my, I'm bad. my back is completely straight, come out to my side real quick. I'm locked in, look. I'm locked in and I'm sitting in a chair. You see how I'm sitting in a chair like this? I don't wanna round my back here. I want to keep that as flat as possible, and I drive. Bang, that's all I'm doing. Does that make sense? You're going to get all the way down, right? You're going to flip it right there. As you come back, I want you in the same position. However, we're going to add explosive component. So instead of chopping the feet, you're going to go one hard pull. So it's going to be here, bang, and you're pulling it right to your forehead. So it's triple extension to your forehead all the way back. Does that make sense? Utilize your hips. Bang, explode back, utilize your back. You're using your entire posterior chain.
So, so they just finished their workout. Changed it up a little bit each week now where they're at. I'm trying to add a new wrinkle into their workout. Try to make it a little bit more difficult, advance each movement each week so that they don't get used to it, but they continue to progress. I make sure that they're hitting damn near better technique or perfect technique on the stuff that we practiced last week. Add a new wrinkle so that they continue to challenge themselves and they, they answer the call today. They look really sharp, so thank you for watching. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you. Holler.